Less than 24 hours after a deadly shooting at an IHOP, a community is searching for answers. Tonight, a memorial outside the restaurant pays tribute to the victim, Roy Brown. All day, Way 31 has been talking to people who knew him. They call the father not just a great guy, but a leader. He was one of the managers that you would want to get up out of bed and go to work for every day. Brown was killed by Roderick Turner. Police said Turner got angry over his takeout order and opened fire. Family told us Brown's son was also shot. Police say he pulled out his own gun and killed Turner. I'm Dan Schaefer. Way 31 is bringing you team coverage tonight as we work to learn more about this crime. We begin with Way 31's Sydney Martin, who spoke with people who say Brown made a huge impact on their lives. Dan, we've seen people coming by this IHOP all day to pay respects. Actually, in the last 30 minutes, we saw complete strangers come put those blue balloons on that door. They told us they just wanted to do something to respect the person who lost their life. Now, I also talked to two people today who told me they were their former, they were his former employees, and so they shared their last memories with me of him. Wednesday was one of the nights that me and uh, a good friend of mine would always work together. So when I heard about everything last night, it really hit home. Josh Strange told me he couldn't believe when he heard what happened at the restaurant he worked at for years. And when he found out his beloved manager, Roy Brown, had died, it just didn't seem real. He was the guy that everybody knew when they came in. He would be the one behind the, the counter smiling, at the grill smiling, no matter how busy it was. Strange's girlfriend also used to work at IHOP and told me she last saw Brown about six months ago when she quit her job for a better opportunity. She shared with me her final memory with him. He told me that he loved me and he was proud of me. And if I ever needed anything, pick up the phone and call. I met Megan Ingram when she was walking up to the restaurant's back door to pay her respects to her former boss. She told me it all doesn't feel real yet. It's so weird knowing he won't ever walk out of that back door again. But both told me they're working to find comfort in knowing a man they loved and is loved by so many is at peace. He is missed and he is loved. And I know that he's at peace. I know that there, God got an angel in heaven last night. Now, Brown's family told us his son has a severe arm injury from being shot. They said he went through surgery for five hours, but we've been told by police he is in stable condition and expected to be okay. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. Thanks, Sydney. Way 31 also did some digging to learn more about the shooter's criminal background. We know he was arrested for a shooting in Harvest back in 2011. We also know he has a felony charge against him, but it's for receiving stolen property. Way 31 reached out to Huntsville police to learn if it was a violent crime. We haven't heard back. Police did say his body will be sent off for a toxicology report.